I just want to feel that those 19 years were not in vain and if I can use what what I know and what I've experienced to help others then every single thing I went through would have been worth it in my eyes. After that abuse which started as a young child, Victoria Spry just wanted to stop others suffering in the same way. She worked with social services to help them spot the signs of abuse, life-changing work that will now become her legacy. The work she was doing with social services and Gosh, safeguarding board was, you know, vital um, to stopping cases like ours happening again. She used to say to me she didn't want to be remembered for Eunice Spry. She wanted to be remembered for helping people. And, you know, talking to some people recently, I think, I think that is what she'll be remembered for. Joanna Nicholas heard Victoria speak on many occasions. Her story was difficult to hear, but it made a huge impact. I've been in rooms with her with 200 people, utterly spellbound by what Victoria said. She had the most incredible power because she just spoke so beautifully and so powerfully, but never ever with any sort of anger or feeling sorry for herself, which is extraordinary. You don't forget these things. It takes years and years and years for it to gradually, you know, wean out of your system. And, and sometimes you don't have that strength at the time to say something. And um, I want to I help those people and, and be that voice and bang on tables to get help for them if I have to. An inquest into Victoria's death, which isn't being treated as suspicious, is expected to be opened later this week. For now, her loss will be felt not just by family and friends, but by those survivors she never met, but undoubtedly helped. Steve Nibbs, BBC Points West.